All right, so this video is going to be simply a video to help you, not simply, nothing simple about it. We're going to derive the equation of a parabola. And so hopefully you're kind of familiar with some of the, uh, some of the terminology with parabolas. But what I have here, and I'll get this, I've created this in GeoGebra. So point D here is a point on this red line, which this red line is the perpendicular bisector between B and C. And point D is the point that's on the red line. I called it B here. And also on the perpendicular bis or just perpendicular line that goes through B. Here's your directrix, this line that I keep doing. C is the focus of our parabola. And what's kind of cool on this thing, and we'll turn the trace on for the line. What's kind of cool is that that tangent line, that perpendicular bisector, will always trace out a parabola. And notice that this distance here, CD, and the distance DB are both the same, no matter where I'm at. At its closest point, it's 2. Well, that's my vertex of the parabola. And then it just gets further away each time. But they always stay the same, no matter where they're at. And that's really what defines a parabola. So let's, uh, yeah, let's move things around. Maybe shut the trace off on our tangent line. Leave it going on D and retrace this just so we can see that parabola form. And there it is. So that's the equation. We want to find the general equation of this parabola. And we're going to use these two, the fact that these two distances are always the same to find it. All right, so here we go. And so to, to start with, let's just define some variables. Typically, your vertex is called HK uh, on generic parabolas or at the general form of the equation. Uh, the point here, D, on the parabola is XY. The distance from the vertex to the uh, focus is typically a variable. We just call it P usually. And that distance is the same to the directrix, P. So those two distances are always the same. And so here we go. So that means we need to define, since we're using this distance and this distance to derive the equation, first off we need C just generally. I mean, it's 2, 2 in this picture, but it's just a one example. I want to find the equation for all parabolas that, that open up or open down. And so to do that, this point C, since, it's, since this point is here is H, we're going to, C is going to be, or your focus, is going to be H comma K plus P, because you add that distance P. And then this point here, point B, is going to be the x-coordinate here, x, and it's k minus p. And so there's the three points we need. We need this point, this point, and this point. All right, so we're four minutes in, and we better get rolling. This is a little less busy of a picture. It's kind of uh, just a little bit. It's not perfect by any means. You can already see those two green lines, which are our distances. This is D1, we'll call it. This is D2. And those are supposed to be the same. They don't look it in my picture, but we'll imagine they're the same. And we're going to go ahead and use the distance formula. Distance formula if you remember, is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So we're going to use those that distances for both d1 and d2 generically with those points. So your first thing you'll do, and I'll start clear over here, 
is we're going to do the square root of x2, which is x minus h squared, plus y minus k plus p squared equals the square root of x minus x quantity squared plus y minus k minus p the quantity squared. So this is again coming straight from here. So I went x minus h squared y minus k plus p squared and then for d2 so this is d1 and this side is d2 I went I'll put a little mark there for x so you can see where I'm at minus x squared and then y minus y minus p squared so now it's a matter of simplifying this and solving it to derive the the general form of the equation so first off we're going to square both sides of the equation to get rid of the radicals so you square both sides of the equation and it undoes the radicals so we have x minus h squared plus and I'm gonna write this out twice y and distribute the minus through since it's squared it's gonna be uh, y minus k minus p and y minus k minus p equals well x minus x is 0 and so you're just left with y minus k plus p again distributing the negative through and it's squared so you're going to do it again my minus k plus p here we go so we've got we've got it to that point now I'm just going to leave this piece alone so that's just going to be x minus h squared but I've got to distribute the y minus k minus p so we'll do that so y squared so plus y squared minus yk minus yp and you want to be real careful that you don't mix this up minus yk plus k squared plus kp minus yp plus pk and then plus p squared equals and I'm out of room kind of but we'll we'll make it fit y squared minus yk plus yp minus ky and I apologize I'm gonna to have to kind of jam it in here so we went minus ky minus uh, or plus k squared minus kp plus py right here uh, minus pk right there and plus p squared okay so that's a lot <laughs> I had to jam all that together not real nice looking but I did it just so I don't lose you know you see where everything comes from so here's the other thing. So we're going to move the y squareds together. So you would subtract y squared from both sides. And what would happen is those would cancel out. So those cancel. Um, minus yk and minus yk, those are the same. So those are going to cancel out. Minus yp, does that cancel out on the other side? It does not because there's a plus yp. So those wouldn't cancel because they're not the same minus yk uh, minus yk those would cancel because they're the same k squared 
and k squared would cancel. They're the same. kp and minus kp doesn't cancel. Minus yp uh, and py doesn't cancel. Plus pk, minus pk doesn't cancel. But the p squareds cancel. And so you can rewrite this thing as x minus h squared. We've got um, yp and y, we got minus two yps. So now those are gone. We've got two pks. And on the right side here, we've got two yps. And I guess you didn't need the plus sign, and minus 2pk is all that's left. So next step we go through here, and I'm going to, uh, first off, I'm going to flip it just uh, as it is, because I like working like this. So 2yp minus 2pk equals x minus h squared minus 2yp plus 2pk. Now we can go ahead and get the these two together. So we're going to add the 2yp over. So 2yp, we'll add that together, kind of like what we were doing before, but this time they won't cancel. And we're going to subtract the 2pk from this side, subtract the 2pk from this side, and we've got 4yp minus 4pk equals x minus h squared. Next step, factor out the 4 uh, and the p. And you're left with y minus k equals x minus h squared and we'll just keep going we'll solve for y so we're going to divide by 4p on both sides so you've got y minus k because these cancel equals x well 1 over 4p times x minus h squared we're going to add the k over and our final equation in the general form of a parabola is 1 over 4p times x minus h squared plus k. And where p is that distance from the vertex to the dire uh, directrix or the vertex and the foci, and hk is your vertex. So there's the general form. Now, see if you can derive the other one. So let's say we have a, uh, a parabola here. We'll do it in blue. That faces right and left. And so here's my directrix. Okay, so, so what would the equation of this be? And here's my focus, maybe. Just making something up. And here's x, here's y for my axes. You know, this point here is x, y. Now your direct, your p is in this direction, in the horizontal direction. And so see if you can derive it on this way, on this side. So when you're done, the other equation should look like this. x equals, again, the same thing, 1 over 4p. But it would be y minus k squared plus h. So that's what you're looking for for the general equation. See if you can derive that. I did it one, one way, now you do it the other. Good luck and I'll see you next time.